There have been empty shelves in supermarkets today, loo roll and dried foods harder to find in some places, hand sanitizer in particularly short supply. This was Stafford. Hand sanitizer at the moment. Hand sanitizer, everyone's going mental for it. So. Yeah. Yeah, and there's none in there anywhere, is there? No. I guess I've just been uh, keeping an eye on seeing what everybody else is doing, and I suppose it's, uh, there's probably lots of other people thinking the same thing, and maybe there'll be the, like the, the, the critical point when everybody goes, right now, go, go get the toilet paper now. But despite the rush on some goods, retailers say their systems are functioning as they should. Supply chains working as it would do normally, retailers are open as they are normally, but there are some of these specific products where there is real pressure in terms of more buying than we would normally anticipate, more like Christmas buying levels than you'd see at this time of the year. This afternoon, the Environment Secretary, George Eustace, called the bosses of the big supermarkets who reassured him that they had robust plans to minimise disruption. But there are still concerns over how to get food to vulnerable people who may have had to isolate themselves. The supermarkets told ministers that their online operations only make up about 7% of the market and there is a limit to how much those will be able to help. The supermarkets also asked the government to relax regulations on driver working hours and store delivery times, which may help in places like South London, where this evening there was a bit of extra buying going on. Well, I've probably grabbed an extra couple of cans of this, that and the other, but I haven't, I've just, it's my usual shop. It's cost a fortune, but uh, yeah, it's my usual shop. I can't really stop I uh, just quick, come from work, pick up something. Um, well, our family is. But any empty shelves that are currently appearing are not caused by the coronavirus disrupting supply. They are caused by consumers taking their own precautions. Carl Dinnan, News at 10.